Welcome, everybody. Um, as Karen mentioned, uh, I'm here to talk about a new initiative for the Confidential Computing Consortium today. Um, I've got a short presentation to hopefully uh, put in context uh, the work of this new initiative and, and with a bit of luck, encourage people to reach out and engage with us to, to take the work of the Confidential Computing Consortium forward. So let me share my screen and uh, we can get underway. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm here to talk about uh, a new initiative that we're quite excited about within the consortium. We've been talking about it um, within the various bodies that uh, make up the working parties within the consortium for a while now. And we finally got it to the point where uh, it's underway and uh, we're calling this the End User Advisory Council. Um, I wear a couple of hats within the Confidential Computing Consortium. I'm one of the serving general members representatives to the governing board alongside Eric Voigt and uh, here I'm here to talk to you today as the chair of this this new body and to to give you an idea of what we intend to do moving forward. So the first thing I want to do is uh, to talk about what, what we're actually going to do in terms of the mission of the End User Advisory Council, uh, talk about the uh, the membership of it and then talk about what activities it will be undertaking moving forward and then what we need from the Technical Advisory Committee and the developer community to help us achieve those aims. So just to recap the structure of the Confidential Computing Consortium, it's uh, governed by Charter and under the governing board, there are now four working groups. Uh, we've already had an outreach committee, a legal committee and a budget committee since the, the foundation of the consortium. And the End User Advisory Council resides under the Governing Board, so it's there to support the work of the Governing Board in directing the activities of the consortium. Uh, the Technical Advisory Committee uh, sits as a body in its own right alongside the Governing Board, uh, and we also hope to provide advice through the Governing Board to support that work of the Technical Advisory Council. Uh, and what they're doing, of course, is helping the individual projects within the consortium uh, and the developer communities that are contributing to that work. So we're a subcommittee of the governing board. Uh, we report directly to the governing board, so we, we don't have any uh, wider mandate to, to the uh, in the same way that the TAC does. And we've set down four uh, principal objectives for the End User Advisory Council. And the first is that it's an inbound organization to receive information about example use cases of confidential computing. And they could be contributed from a number of different areas. They could be from organizations implementing confidential computing in practice, whether they be members of the, the consortium or otherwise. And equally, we, we want to hear from the developers that are working with the confidential computing consortium projects to understand how those projects are being deployed in the field, some of the concerns that developers might have about technical areas that need to be filled in order to meet the, the end use demands that they're trying to build for. Uh, and also we want to then engage with some sector specific information uh, from different industry verticals about end user requirements and needs for this technology so that we can shape its future uh, through the activities of the consortium. So obviously a new technology, uh, we're talking about a new and exciting field in uh, data and application security. Uh, and that field is going to change over time with the advent of new technologies that we've been hearing about today. Uh, and we need to understand what the direction of travel is in order for the consortium to maintain its relevance and, and meet the, the objectives of that end use community. What we'll be doing is reporting that market information and use case data to the governing board on a quarterly basis. And we'll be reporting that out uh, and also uh, talking about the technical requirements and the, the project use cases that we learn about um, through engaging with the developer community to the Technical uh, Advisory Council so that they can also think about how they can implement that information with the, the project community moving forward. So we have a Slack channel within the Confidential Compu Computing Consortium uh, Slack environment. Uh, I'm currently serving as the chair, as I mentioned at the start. I've been very fortunate to have um, some volunteers join me in the committee so far, uh, one of which is Stephen Wally, the uh, chair of the governing board, along with Linda from the outreach committee and Ben acting as a representative for the technical advisory council. And we're gonna be ably supported by Stefano and Ashley from the Linux Foundation to coordinate meetings 
uh, promote the activities and communicate with the uh, the community about, about what we're doing and, and how they can engage. But a point I want to make here is that, as I mentioned before, everybody's welcome to participate in this activity. It's not limited to confidential computing consortium member companies. We're interested to hear from anybody that's active in the area of confidential computing and that has uh, information about how that's being used or some of the areas that need to be fulfilled uh, from a technical and business level in order for the uh, the technology to realize its potential. We're going to hold uh, a series of quarterly meetings um, for the consortium membership and um, interested parties. And we're hoping that the first uh, of those events is gonna take place next month in July. And that will enable people to uh, contribute in a, an open forum environment and to maintain um, consistency with the, uh, the charter and the objectives of the Linux Foundation, the meetings are gonna be held under Chatham House rules. So what that means is that anybody will be able to contribute uh, information to the session, but when we do the reporting back to the governing board, those reports will be anonymized to maintain things like vendor neutrality so that uh, companies can talk about commercial use cases where they have permission to do so, uh, uh, but actually the the information related to those companies will be redacted and we'll be talking about the use case uh, rather than the, the individual organizations concerned. We also plan to hold up to four uh, industry engagement events, as I mentioned, uh, that will be organized on an in-person basis to engage with leaders within different industry verticals to understand their concerns in different markets and how confidential computing can contribute to uh, the data privacy and application security issues that their uh, memberships are, are facing. Uh, this will be held at a senior level, and we're assuming that it will be with non-technical uh, members of those uh, communities so that we're talking to them about the problem they're trying to solve rather than necessarily the, the technical implementation. And we're more than open to members of the Confidential Computing Consortium contributing ideas about what those events should be, uh, uh, and participating in the appropriate forums uh, under the, um, the, go the direction of the governing board. And from both of those activities, we'll pre be preparing a quarterly report that will be published to the governing board. And I would expect that they will be available to the community through the, uh, the confidential computing website. So how can you help us as the developer community? Um, well, principally by participation. Uh, we would really like people to engage with us, especially those that are active in the development of the different projects and, and their implementation in the wild. Uh, we want to understand how your, the confidential computing is being put into practice, particularly around the, the projects that the CCC is managing. And we've hope, we're hoping that the Chatham House rules uh, are going to enable that open communication and then we can report that information to the benefit of everybody within the, the community of interest. We're also looking for integration of that end user feedback within project activity. So what we're hoping is that by learning more about what's required of this technology in practice and how people are using it, that can be fed back into the development work within the projects uh, under the direction of the Technical Advisory Committee. And that might need to lead to some things like new special interest groups or the uh, branching of new project features in order to, to fulfill the gaps that come to light or to, to expand on some of the interest areas that are communicated to us by users. And then what we'd like to do as well is identify end user information that would help that Technical Advisory Council to provide guidance to new and existing projects uh, and in particular the selection of projects to um, fulfill different areas as we've seen with the new uh, attestation project that's uh, in discussion at the moment. And at this point I'd like to thank everybody within the developer community for participating with the Confidential Computing Consortium uh, and make the point that the, the work that you're doing is important and valued and particularly so from an end use perspective. Uh, it's the people that are working with this technology on a daily basis that have the most knowledge of uh, how it's developing, how it's being applied, or, and where it could be applied but isn't already today. And so we want to hear from you. We want to hear from the projects. 
uh, and we want to understand how we can take this technology forward with the consortium um, and, and benefit the community at large. Uh, and very shortly, there'll be further announcements being posted on the uh, Confidential Computing website via the Get Involved uh, tab. Uh, and we'd welcome participation at the, the first event in July. So I hope that was uh, 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 an interesting overview of, of what we intend to do with the, the consortium. And uh, you know, I'm happy to take uh, any questions through the chat and I'll be, I'll be available in the Slack channels as well um, after, after this presentation. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask on the chat. And um, as I mentioned, we have our, our own Slack channel within the Confidential Computing Slack environment called User-Council. And uh, you can always interact with us there as well. I think we are done a little bit early. Um, so like you said, if anyone has questions, you can take the time to answer them. Um, and then let me see if I can pull up our next session when the time comes. Okay, well, thanks very much for everybody's time. I've appreciated uh, having the opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, it's been a great event and uh, we're looking forward to, like I said, seeing you at the first end user advisory council meeting and enjoy the rest of the conference. Right. Okay. Um, you can make sure to hit the leave button in the top sure. right corner. Thanks, Karen. Bye, everyone. Thank you.